And welcome to the WCBC pregame show for week one, starting out for the $1,000 Women's Carball Championship. I'm joined by our two main casters today, Hunted and Nito Queen. Welcome. How are you two doing? Fantastic. Yep, just wonderful. So excited to get things going. All right. So let's uh, jump right into it here. We got this first matchup between you know the Crimson Wings namesake, Scarlet Wings, and Extreme Zone. Yeah, this one looks to be a pretty good matchup to start you know the whole season off. Of course, the Scarlet Wings come into this uh, placing second in the qualifier. They went three and one on that day. Uh, on the other side, though, Extreme Zone kind of sneaking in that last spot. They went two and two. And, you know, they're looking to to kind of start their season off right. And if they can take down the Scarlet Wings, that is an awesome way to do it. For sure. No, they're they're looking pretty good. It seems like a, um, Scarlet Wings has been playing for together for a little while. So they seem to have their things all in a row. Um, Extreme Zone, did you do you know if they've been playing uh, as frequently as them or are they just come together for the championship right so talking to uh, mjolnir about the team they actually formed for the the wcbc ah, and, all right. and you know for them to go two and two in the qualifiers they were you know super happy Good with that chemistry. result yeah it looks like it's working out yeah so uh it's interesting they did um actually place the scarlet wings in the qualifier as well um did extreme zone unfortunately they dropped that series um and you know again talking to mjolnir about that you know they said that they were the scarlet wings were on point in that game mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be a tough challenge for them today if they play the same way but they've been practicing together they're ready and they're they're wanting to make their mark early on right and scarlet wings has that mentality they don't want to underestimate anybody so they'll be going down with the same energy i feel like yeah absolutely yeah, and then uh, the second match we have here is Boosted E-Girls and 72 PCG. So tell me about those two. Well, this one I think is probably one of the ones. This one and the, the third match are probably the, the two that I'm most excited for on the day. Of course, I want to watch all the matches. I can't wait to get started. Mm -hmm. But Boosted E-Girls and 72 PC Gold, I think they both kind of had qualifiers that they weren't necessarily happy with. I think they both wanted to, to uh, play a little bit better. They both went two and two on the day. So, you know, it's going to be a close matchup, but I, I'm, I'm just not sure. I think it's going to come down to which team comes out quicker than the other one. For sure. 72 PC and other team has kind of been together for a couple weeks and been playing. So they got their chemistry all figured out. Um, but I'm excited to see what comes out of it. It's going to be exciting a uh, matchup. Some oh oh yeah, and really and, notable. Um, yeah, I mean these two teams not playing in the qualifiers, uh, so uh, you know a little bit of I, a feeling out process, I would imagine, between the both of them. Um, but. You know, 72 PC, probably the, I guess, the more recognizable names um, because of, you know, their, their streaming and, and what have you. Right. But that doesn't mean that you can count out, you know, the, the boosted e-girls because they, they, when they play as a team, they can be quite scary. For sure. Well, we'll have to see if that experience playing, you know, on a stream, it will help them, help them give them that upper hand or if that doesn't matter, you know. It all comes out to the day. That's what I really like about Rocket League. It really just comes down to the day and who's ready to show up and and uh, show up what they got. So, yeah. And then next we have Witchcraft, who ended up going undefeated. They didn't even drop a game in the qualifier versus uh, Basic Bitches, who got sixth in the qualifier. I think they ended. Did they end two and two? I believe. Um, basic did end two and two. Yeah, we have a quite a number of teams that ended two and two on the on the day in the qualifiers but um yeah i i don't know i mean talking earlier uh witchcraft of course going undefeated as you said um they're having a little bit of issues with their their roster getting here today i'm hoping crossing my fingers that all three of them can make it um but 
If they do need to use a sub, does that kill some of the chemistry that we've seen from them? I'm not sure. That's something that we're going to have to watch. But even so, even if all three players are here, I think basic has what it takes to try to match them, but they've got to play at the very top of their game. For sure. Yeah, that's what everybody said for sure. And that's the per- <laughs> that's the person in question that, that we may not be, be seeing today. Exactly. But um yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm really excited to see what comes out of uh this matchups uh because like you said they they came out undefeated and I think it it will really show what kind of uh what kind of team uh, the main two players uh, who who will be stepping in for uh, witchcraft? Maybe they can adapt with a sub and be just as good. You never know. Uh, and then, uh... and then, uh, yeah. Next on the docket, the last match of the day is Kazi and uh, Sakura Blues, and so this is probably the most. In terms of teams who did really well in the qualifier, um, the kind of most high quality matchup, just in terms of that talent, with chaos. Yeah, winning. this is yeah. it's it's going to be a, a high energy game, I think. Especially we we watch Sakura Blues in the qualifier, and my kind of MVP on the day was Crimson, who who is a Sakura Blues player absolutely popped off in the match that we got to watch her play in and it's really exciting to see that kind of talent but it's not just crimson alice and rose both played phenomenally and if they can continue that they're kind of like my sleeper team i mean mm-hmm. granted they took second right i mean how can they be a sleeper if they if they take second through the quals but you know, everybody wants to talk about witchcraft and how well they're playing, but you have to keep an eye on soccer blues, and I expect them to start fast this week. And they have um, they have a history with uh, Chaosy too. They've they've played each other a few times, so maybe that that um, experience with each other makes for some good games. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. So then, tell me more about uh, Chaosy and. How do we think they're going to do c- coming into this? Um, you know, we talked a lot about Soccer Blues, how they're your sleeper team, but uh, can Kayazi take them out here in this fourth matchup? Um, I think it's going to be closer than a lot of people think. I, I I would imagine we go to five games in that series. I could very well be wrong. We see a three-game sweep either way, but um, what Nita was saying is actually very interesting. They've played each other a couple of times uh, in other tournaments and oh. um you know chaosy they lost i believe in a best of three but then they ended up winning in a five game series in a, a later match in that same tournament so they're they're kind of one and one with each other which is why i think again that it's going to be so close they're going to go to all five games um and I think I'm not going to say there's bad blood there. I don't think anybody <laughs> is really a rival, but at least you know that there's going to be that kind of like, look, we really want to win this game because we've lost to them before. Exactly. Yeah. They're going to have to really see if they can adapt and um, hopefully pull out a, pull out a win. But yeah, like you said, I think it'll be a good series no matter what. All right. And then there's some standout players that you're uh, kind of looking at here. Um, mm-hmm. coming into week one yeah i mean again i have to mention crimson crimson played super super well in the qualifiers i i hope she continues that um there's a lot of play i mean the entire witchcraft roster i'm so excited to watch play uh yes. carolina pasadena and ducks i mean all of them wonderful players but you know even other players like Kira, uh, Elixir, Avenger, um, Misuno, you know, Queen Bee, people yes, have been grinding, streaming. You, they're just uh, they're gaining uh, uh, a bit of a community themselves too. So that can put a fire under your under your gameplay when you know there's people rooting for you. So mm-hmm. yeah, and another really good point is so there's five European teams and uh, three North American teams. And of course, you know, we set this up kind of with the idea of being mainly um, North America. The 
server that we normally are playing on the default server is na east but um you know with the five european teams a lot of these games are going to be played over on the eu server so i mean but talk to me about that i mean with the five european teams and the three north american teams i mean um do they have an mm-hmm. advantage does eu have an advantage over north america to kind of take the whole entire league by storm I guess it really depends. I know that, I mean, as far as I've um, heard from higher level players, like the discrepancy between the ping sometimes doesn't matter. But if it, I mean, if the, ser- if the server's on your side, it's going to be on your side. If it's not, it's not, you know, and you can, it can really mess up some, some plays. Sure. Hopefully, hopefully well, you can get past that. My counterpoint to that is that, again, my MVP from the qualifiers was Crimson. Crimson was playing with 200-plus ping <laughs> Some in that qualifier. And, I mean, I, I even asked Alice about that um, leading up to this, and I said, you know, all of you were playing with super high ping. Is that something that you're used to? She said, it's not really something that they're used to, but they generally don't mind the high ping. Which I wonder if that's more of an EU thing. Maybe they're more used to playing on higher pings than NA squad. I know that certainly I never get over 100 ping in just about anything that I play mm-hmm. in. So that would be different for me. But yeah, maybe maybe it is a little bit of a, of a tip in favor of EU. But I think that all the players that we have here are good enough at the game and can adapt well enough that it's not going to be the tipping point. Right. And I, and um, being from the Middle East, I, I know a lot of like higher level Middle Eastern players are always playing on servers with higher ping just because they can't get the proper matchups uh, on their server. So that might, she might, they might be used to just playing on 100, 200 ping. All right. And so looking at these four matchups then today, um, which one is your favorite? Uh, the two of you that we're looking forward to casting? Um, Personally, uh, I'm looking forward to casting the second matchup, uh, Boost City Girls and 72 PC Gold. Uh, I think it's going to be an exciting game to watch. I know uh, some players in there are pretty mechanically gifted, so it'll be interesting. Yeah, and I know that I I said match two and three were kind of my favorites. I think I'm going to change it. (laughs) <laughs> because I kind of hyped myself up on match four. Like, Chaos Z versus Sakura Blues, I think, is going to be a perfect way to end this week um, if both teams play the way that they played in the qualifier. Sure, and then I'm okay. going to pick match one because I am biased. Go Scarlet <laughs> Wings. They're my team. Makes sense. There you go. Um, and then overall, throughout the whole entire league, um, and we'll give this as the last question before we head off uh, over to a break um who do you think is going to win out who's going to take first place in the round robin oh man that's i'm gonna tough... let nito go first on that one i'm interested that's a tough in one. <laughs> um you know what i'm gonna give it to 72 pc gold i think they Ooh. have i think they have um a roster that is confident you know they're they're used to being they're used to being on the camera and they've been playing for a while and mm-hmm. uh, it's going to be interesting to see them perform today. I think that, that they have a good chance to, to come out on top. I think I'm going to have the boring answer and say witchcraft. I just, I don't <laughs> see them struggling. I was going to say that at first. <laughs> and then I kind of pulled back and I was like, you know what? Let's mix it up. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't see them struggling very much throughout the season. I definitely think there's going to be hard matchups for them. I, I, again, I think you put them against Sakura Blues, 72 PC Gold, uh, even Chaosy. I think it's going to be a tough match, but I don't see them faltering. And if they do, they'll come back stronger the next week. So mm, I have to go with Witchcraft, but. I'm also kind of leaning towards one of these newer teams like Extreme Zone or or Boosted who kind of just came together. Mm-hmm. I just want to see one of those teams pop off and just destroy everyone. Just <laughs> for the fun of it. Right, maybe like this is the beginning <laughs> of their career as a team. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's right. Yeah, I'm also going to go with Witchcraft. Um, I, I just think that, you know, Pasadena, Caro, and Ducks is just 
that is a monster roster and i that's it like they're, gonna, they're just going to take it from the <laughs> so i i hope that we're going to get some good games around there i know that um in the qualifiers um you know scarlet wings took them to overtime in one of the games so um you know there's hope there that you know that i think they will be challenged but um you know overall like you said you know they'll probably come back and uh rebound for any challenges that they face um so moving on from that uh right before we go to break here i want to note that you know if you do hashtag relief in the chat window um and follow that link uh we are supporting the power of humanity australian red cross um to help those affected by recent fires in australia so go ahead and uh, go to that and donate some money to a great cause uh, we will be right back here in about 10 minutes with our first matchup of Scarlet Wings and Extreme Zone, so don't go away.